Hello and welcome back to another video where today we're going to be continuing our series Life in the Basics and as you can probably tell from the title we are doing functions and libraries. What fun! It might sound a bit difficult but it's fairly easy once you start. So first off, what are like the basic functions built into Python? So I'm going to open up a shell, I recommend you have a shell open here. If you can't remember how to do that you do run Python shell. What we're going to do is let's say we did print there. print brackets hello speech marks brackets and then we ran that there we go you can see it prints hello and that's a function print is a function if we do 5 plus 5 we are using a mass function we've got and these functions are built into the core part of python but sometimes the functions that are built straight into it aren't enough Luckily, Python has some pre-installed libraries that come with it. Now, a library is sort of like a box, which is full of other functions. So let's say we called the random function, uh, the random library. So if we did import random, we've basically got a box called random, which, in a fr which is a library. And inside this box, we've got tons of functions. So if we did random dot rand int and then we do some brackets and then we do one and ten and close brackets and let's run that you can see it gives us a random number we can run this many times if we want so there we go and you can see it will always give us a different random number so this is so this is a function from the library so let's do, just change the numbers just to show it works with anything there we go. Let's demonstrate what this does a bit more. So it's where it says random, what we're saying is from the library random, and then we've got the dot saying now we're going to use a function, call the function rand int. So it's saying we're using this function from this library, which is why you must always have the library then the dot when you import something. But there's another way of doing this, which is if we do from random, import and then star and enter we can now just do random dot int like ran, rand int and the difference here between is we have told uh, python to just import all the functions from the library and just have them all pre-ready to go which uh the benefit of that is it's easier make your life easier in the future the only disadvantage of that is Oh, one, if you're trying to send the code to someone else, it's a bit messy. So if you have the, the top left part here, you can always work out where each library is. And if the other person hasn't installed the library or doesn't have it, they know the libraries to get. And it just So that's one reason. And two, generally with these small things it's fine, but if you're installing massive libraries like AI libraries, you may find it's just it's actually easier on the system doing it this way. It's just one of those things. So, and using just the import random and then library dot function is better practice than this bottom one but they both work you can use whichever one you want and there are more things which are pre-built to python other than just random so if we did import sys there we go we can use like loads of fancy parts to interact with our machine or with the code to exit parts or create hooks and we can't really demonstrate this in the shell so let's open up this document here and let's do import sys and then we're going to do print bracket speech marks hello close speech marks close close brackets there we go and then we're going to do sys dot exit there we go and then we're going to do uh, print and then we're going to do bracket speech marks goodbye speech marks brackets and then let's save this so there we go uh, this would be uh, lesson four so let's name the file that and make sure you put it in the right folder so here is lesson four lesson four and now let's run this so as you can see it says hello and goodbye which or hello yeah and that's because we haven't we've done something wrong here and this is something low mistake that loads of people make Just when you're using a function like rand in, we've got these brackets with numbers in. And even though this 
uh, this function doesn't use numbers because we are calling it from a different library. We always have to just put the open and close bracket. Just it's just one of those things. And now as you can see, the sister exit exits the code when it gets there, and it's so it won't carry anything else across. So this can be helpful in some cases to just force shut code if on certain if statements, which just stops it carrying across. With all libraries, you will always have to make sure you put these brackets at the end. It's just one of those things. And but you can see what happens if we don't do it right. It will just skip it. So these are the pre-built ones, and there are tons of pre-built things. So I've and the easiest way I found with when it comes to all of these things is quite often you can find lookup sheets. So there we go. Here are some I found earlier for pre-built. Python functions. We've got uh, sys, and as you can see, we've got all of these sys's, uh, the sys functions, and these are from the Python doc. So I have all of these links in the description, and it will tell you each function and what they can do. It can hook onto a list of activities, it can make arguments. Or there's other ones like the random one, pseudo random numbers, because you can't get complete random, and that's a whole different video. And turtle, which lets you draw pictures. So like squares or people done love hearts or other fancy pictures from that. I actually just copied and pasted some uh, turtle code as you can see. You can import turtle. In this case, but it's just left as dark, but it's quite a simple thing. You can see what it's from. So we're going to set the color red and yellow. Uh, while true, we're going to go forward and then we're going to go left. And as you can see, it makes a new graphical interface and you can do some drawing. Turtle, if you want to look into that, I'll put the links in the description. I'm planning to do a whole video on Turtle, but it's a great, it's a great little library built into Python where you can just do some incredible drawings. And then when you close it afterwards, you can either wait for it to finish and then it will do a, it will just end the program, as you can see there. But when you close it, you can quite often get errors just because it hasn't finished. So if we start it and then we stopped it, it would come up with an error. It's just one of those things. Just, it's not a problem. Just to demonstrate, here's another little turtle uh, plugin. As you can see, it will slowly be drawing a heart, and it's just it's another nice little plugin. And the turtle, you do actually find some people do some incredible things. So you can just Google Python turtle, and I'll have a few things just in the description. And if anyone wants to copy out that code quickly, you can just pause the video and take this chunk. Right, another thing that you have is you can often find that not all uh, not all plugins are pre-installed to Python. And there are loads of plugins that people want to use, like ones that let you do copy and pasting, ones that let you do AI, ones that let you make games. And these ones you have to install manually. And now this part's a bit difficult, and this is where people get stuck, so if you're going to pay attention to any part of the video, this is the part to pay attention to. So, the next one we're going to be installing a Python plugin called Clipboard. And this lets you copy and paste things like it says. And there was a link, which I will for all of like the installation files for all the plugins, but I'll show you how to do it. And if you're on Mac or Linux, you can just open up your terminal or your command prompt and type in pip, make sure it's all okay, sorry, and just type in pip install and then clip clipboard. And now when you, but if you're in Windows, you get an error. If you're on Apple or Linux, that should have worked fine. So if you're on Windows, what you need to do, you need to find the folder that your Python is saved to. So my Python will be generally be an app data, local programs, Python, Python 3. If you want to, you can always open up your side panel and type in Python, open file location. It'll probably take you to a shortcut page and then right click, open file location. So it's a bit more tedious on Windows. And then you open up scripts and then at the top here you will just click and type the words cmd this is for windows only mac and linux you just open up a terminal and now now it's opened this directory in your terminal which is what happens when you type cmd in there and now you can type out the command and now it will work you may get some errors it's fine just leave it it is still downloading so this may take a while so i'll be back once it's done Actually, I've already installed this, so that is fine. 
So let's open up a new pipe. Let's reopen up our Python shell, which I don't have open. So let's open up a new one. There we go. New Python shell. And now this uh, uh, paperclip thing actually has a page. All of the py uh, Python add-ons have this page called uh, py.py.org. And links will be in the description. But it will show you some of the basic commands. So let's do one that's easy. If we do clip board, actually let's just move this out the way so I can. Right, so if we did clipboard and then we did dot copy brackets speech marks and then let's write hello, it won't work. And this is why we forgot something. So what we had to do earlier, which is we had forgot to import it. So if we import clipboard and now we reran clip clipboard dot copy brackets hello there we go it doesn't look like anything's happy and now paste something and as you can see hello is in what will happen when you paste something so let's take this and we can now copy it paste this and if we write like let's do let's say like and sub enter and now in our paste bar when you do control v or command v that's what's happened but you can do some use this to do something else that so now we've learned how to use the copy we can do something else so let's re-import i've just opened up a new shell to make it look clean we can do import clipboard again there we go and now we can do um, let's say we're going to copy something so we'll just cover that one last time and we're just going to do something simple copy abc done we can do the copying part that's easy the other thing we can do is we can use it in a variable so if we have text so our new variable is always equal to and then let's do clip clipboard dot paste and then open and close brackets and there we go so now when we copy something or text you know let's say we use this variable just to show it works there we go it will print abc so you can use uh, like other plugins another one which is quite commonly used is something called pygames which i mentioned briefly so if we went back to our terminal and I would really recommend you look at some of the links and try and do some of these and look at some of the plugins and if you ever have any problems there is always the comments and I'll try and answer as many as I can as well as Discord and Reddit. As you can see I've already got this installed. Let me just quickly make a simple game in Python. There, so as you can see, see Okay, let's restart that. I wasn't expecting it to start so quickly. If I've got a quick game of Pong here. So what we've done is we've imported Brandon and we've imported Pygame. And then we've made the game here, which I'm not going to explain in this video because it was far too much. So if we just, it's just to show you that it works. Now let's run the code. You can see we now have a game of Pong. Okay, it's, it was in a rush. It's a bit broken. But you can see when it comes to Python, we're, and with things like Pygame, there is so much that you can do. So this is easily one of the things which I'd recommend you just look at the links. And thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will hope I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.